Can't give the puck deep there, though. Here comes Neely again, and Neely. Neely throws it across the goal mouth, and they've answered straight away. What a finish. They're on the board. It's one nothing. the Lightning. Again, Neely using his speed. Just flew down the left side. Looked at the net and realized there was a man driving on the right side with a right shot. Slid that puck across nicely. Belagiron with a great finish. He's a new addition to this lineup. And Belagiron with his fifth goal. Here's Wallace. Wallace calls switch. Wallace with his shot. It's deflected in front by Fine. Set play there and a good deflection by Fine. Fine goes to the front of again. Wallace hammers in, scores! Power play goal on the five on three. And Tim Wallace. Here's Wilson. Wilson. Pistuka, 15 seconds remaining, and they get the chance, and they score. Stanish. Power play goal for the clan. It's 2 1. Oh, well set up play. Stanish, the defenseman, comes down the left side, and the pass comes out quickly as he drives wide. Everybody forgets about Stanish. And right here, that quick little pass from Peacock to Stanish. Fine. His head is on a swivel every shift out here. Trying to make that perfect pass. Gets it back to Wallace. Wallace with the shot, it's in! Wallace with the cannonading blast from the point. You had Golovkov in front. And Wallace leading by example. The, the coaching reins handed over to Wallace this afternoon. And of course, Landon Meadle was in. Oh, keeps it in. Anderson at the right point. Wallace. Fakes the shot, he's been the hot hand, certainly. Wallace, let's poise on the puck. Wallace with the shot, he scores! Oh, baby, Wallace is having himself some kind of night! Yeah, what a finish from Wallace. Defenseman cross up top on the five on three. It was a set play they set up on the board on the bench because I could see it from here. Lovely looking setup on the power play all game long from the Lightning. From having guys on the off wing to having the forward on the point and Wallace here's Valdix Valdix back door and Neely scores power play goal Neely that's his ninth of this season and it's 5-1 Lightning well Neely just stays to the to the right of Rumpel and just waits and waits Wallace again controlling the play passes it down pass comes across little left the puck behind here comes Golovkov Golovkov and Anderson Golovkov walks in, Golovkov with the shot, scores! Golovkov with his second of the year, it's 6-1 Lightning! Well, Golovkov came down the ice after the defenseman fell in the neutral zone, creating a two-on-one. And Golovkov couldn't make his mind up if he's going to shoot or pass. We'll watch here, he's not quite sure. And then all of a sudden, at the last minute, his teammate says, shoot it, shoot it, goes off the defense. Decker still has it, takes it behind Climey's net. Falls to Wilson, takes a deflection. Becker has it. Becker scores! Turns and swipes it into the net. Climey beaten at his left hand post. And Glasgow Clan have the lead 1 0. Great bit of work from the clan there. Tyson Wilson tried the shot, the deflection landed nicely for Matt Becker. Becker in the slot. Finds the gap. Now Stanish fires one in, deflected away from Buzzio. Whip Pitt wins it back now. Good ball. Stupka looks for Becker in the centre. That's a second one for Matt Becker. And Matt Climey didn't see that one coming. Stupka with the pass finds Becker in the centre. And a good finish from the clan number 26. 2 0. Oh, and still has it. Now an opportunity, an odd man rush here for the clan. And it's in, it's Stanish. Clan get the third goal. The two on one opportunity. Stanish along with Rasmus Bierum. And it was Stanish with the finish. And Matt Climey beaten for a third time. Comes back to Davy Phillips, that's a slack pass. From the experienced defenseman Hansen in the centre. Hansen adds a fourth goal for the Glasgow clan. The assist from Josh Gratton. A poor pass from Davy Phillips. Release Josh Gratton down the left hand side. Gerard Hansen 
was in the centre to chuck it away. Away by Matt Stanish. The clearance didn't quite come off for the clan. Here's Eberle. Opportunity in it's O'Connor. O'Connor gets one back. They've had the pressure the last few minutes, the Steelers. And Ben O'Connor is the man to get the goal back for the visitors. Thirty-one, fifty-one on the board. Eberly did well, taking it round. Just when Clan thought they'd managed to get the clearing, so it fell to Ben O'Connor. Can the Steelers make this possession, this pressure count, four-one down? And they've got one. I've no sooner said that than Josh Pitt has added a second for the Sheffield Steelers. That pressure. Has been made to count again. Josh Pitt with the shot. And it's beaten Joel Rumpel. The Steelers cut the deficit to two. It's 4 2. Have got themselves a couple of goals on the board to certainly make this period a little more interesting. Buzzio. Rumpel on the ground. And there we go. The Steelers have got a third one now. 16 seconds into the third period. And they're back to within one, the visitors. Tom Barrasso's men have hit back straight away. Going over here, across the blue line, O'Connor. And it's landed in, it's taken a couple of bounces. And somehow Ben O'Connor has managed to squeeze the puck in. Although I don't think it's his goal. He certainly flashed it in from the blue line. There was a sea of bodies in front of Joel Rumpel. And the clan goalie is beaten with 51 seconds to go. The Steelers have levelled the Just under 2.45 to go in this overtime period. Three on three overtime. It's Mark Matheson. And Matheson wins it for the Steelers. Beats Rumpel at his right hand post. And the Steelers come from 4-0 down to take a 5-4 overtime win. Trying to work in behind the net is Everton, who's got his first real cameo on the ice. And he lays it off. Olsen with a blast, and it's there! Olsen with a huge slap shot attempt. It finds its way past Ben Bounds, and the Panthers lead one to nothing. Great work there from the Panthers just to try and open up some space for the shooting lane. And Dylan Olsen's going to blast home his fourth of the season. 13th point as well. If you look, some great move there. It's Alex Guptill on the puck now. Finds Olsen as Tavurdin's going to the net to try and create that screen. Reddick's at the blue line. Reddick with a short deflection. It's there. And it looks to be the first goal in Devil Colours for Sam Duggan. A deflection from the blue line. And the Devils equalise. Give credit to Joey Hedard for creating this opportunity. If you look at now, he just plays the body on Tyler Van Cleef. And then it is going to be Sam Duggan finally gets his uh, first professional goal. Welcome to professional hockey, Sam Duggan. First goal as a devil, first goal as a pro as well. Fantastic tip there. One all game. Again, it's the main clock you're watching. It's 20 seconds left. Ulmer, no one timer. Another drive. Mosey, another one-timer, it's there! The Devils take a late first period lead. It's Joey Adad on the power play. Cardiff Devils two, Nottingham Panthers one. This only one the Devils need this late in the period. You can see this coming from the fantastic power play work from there. Adad winds up, takes a shot, bounce back to Longley, pass back to Mosey, who finds Adad again, winds up that one-time slap shot. It's gonna go off the post. And in 13 seconds left. Deflected over the bar. Olsen. Time and space. Olsen with a drive. And Olsen gets the second of the game. Right at the end of the power play to tie it up here in Cardiff. We saw that in the first period. We're seeing it here again in the second period. Just an absolute bomb of a shot there from Dylan Olsen. So look at the start of the replay. It's a good toe drag shot there from Guptill. Puck finds its way back to Olsen, opens up some space for himself, a lot of bodies in front, just drives that one past Ben Bounds, hell of a shot. And Michael Garnett with just daylight robbery there. Martin will look to get another goal, yeah, and he finds it! 
the second attempt from Martin goes at the bar. It's going to be reviewed. The Devils are spinning on the ice, but there is a review. The drama will continue here. Dean Smith calls the goal. The streak has ended. The Devils get their win. a route straight to the net it's something the commentary blaze need to do a little bit more and be direct and send players to the net as a intercepted pass Bouchard is going to shoot and he's going to score and the Nutty Stars get a well deserved early goal Francois Bouchard on a broken plate as Julio tries to make a pass came off the four checker stick and Bouchard goes himself and opens it up for Dundee and they will come away. Five minutes remaining in the middle frame, which has seen the blaze entirely short. Handed, but it doesn't matter. Quickly on the power play. They tie it up down low. Crowder beating the pad. They've spent so much of this period, Mike, short-handed. They only needed seconds on the power play. And a nice shot on the rush. Crowder down low. Hashi. Thought about pulling the trigger. Nikifora under pressure. Comes away. Oh, great play from Nikifora. To the point. Shot upstairs. Rebound. They score. Crowder with a second. And a quick 1-2. And the Coventry Blaze get this game 2-1 in their favour. Tim Crowder in front. It starts with the creativity of Nicky Forrock. A nice play from Joyo and a simple finish from, uh, from Crowder. Sends a pass to the hash marks or oh, swing and a miss, but Dundee still have it. Shot low, tipped in front, scramble, it's home! Marquard, I think, with a touch. And this game level. As we look again, Matt Marquard scoring in his former building. And again, it's what he does best. He gets to the net front and gets this rebound home. Yeah, why we were praising Crowder's shot was he shot low, used the defenseman as a screen, and... What? Oh my goodness! Well, two totally different goals we're talking about. We were talking about Crowder's, which was a crafty little play. This is superb. The Blaze take a shot into the slot. The stick from Morris gets a huge chunk of it. And the Blaze have got a lead. And it took something special to get through Hogan in this period. And with the net gaping, the Blazer being told to shoot. Hansen's going to enter the zone, and he might very well do that. But he takes it wide. Tahashi to the net. And the Blaze with that will seal it. Hansen did the sensible thing there, Mike. No rush. He didn't. He got into the zone. Took it behind the net. Out in front for Hashi, who just entered the play. He took his time. He found the twine. All action. Goals. Chippy. 28, 16, Giving the stars a chance. They pulled the netminder again here with Bouchard coming out, who gets the puck. One timer from the point. Loose puck comes out, and the Blaze might have another one at the empty net. It's Ben Lake. It's five for Coventry. Two empty net goals as Pasha hits snake eyes on rolling the dice. The Milton Keynes net in the corner. Finds Pitt. Back to Becker. Becker taps it in. It's a good goal from Matt Becker. Good combination with Scott Pitt. And Becker gets his third goal of the weekend. Great work from Becker down the left side, played it to Pitt. Pitt laid it off to Becker at the corner. Becker came in and a nice backhanded movement. And the clan are ahead, it's 1 0. Sometimes a change like that can make one hell of a difference. As clan fans will have saw on Wednesday in the television game, nearly. It's a chance, and Milton Keynes Lightning have one back. It's the equaliser. Fell nicely, Eric Neely with a chance there at Rumpel. Made the save and it fell nicely. And that's a fine way to finish. Michael Fine. Now Stupka backhanded for Becker. Becker makes entry down the inside left drop pass for Scott Pitt. It's a fantastic finish from Scott Pitt. And the clan restore their lead. 10 3 to go of the second period. Matt Becker makes the entry down the inside left. 
He saw Pitt out the corner of his eye, dropped it for him. Pitt unleashed a shot, and Adam Goss is beaten. Now Becker. He takes a stumble there. Griffiths right behind him. It's Erhard, it's a third goal for the clan. The cut back from Vaslav Stupka. Erhard in the slot, rifles it home. Adam Goss beaten for a third time. And the home team go 3-1 ahead. And now the pass forward, Becker on three points tonight. A goal and two assists. Can he help in maybe establishing another goal? That's a good pass. It's Becker, and it's another one. Becker's on fire at the moment. Great bit of work there. Matt Becker coming in from the left-hand side. Takes it round Goss. His fourth point of the night and Glan go 4-1 ahead. And at this near side, Fine is robbed of it by Grattan. Good work from the veteran. Grattan comes in down the inside. Left! And it's a wonderful finish from Josh Grattan. Barely a minute into the third period. Michael Fine robbed of possession by Josh Grattan. Grattan down the left-hand side. Drifting in and applying the finish to the far post of Adam Goss. 5-1. Griffiths. Milton Keynes again just teeing things up nicely. And Milton Keynes get one back. He sensed that one was coming. It's Georg Golovkovs. Two minutes and three seconds into the third period. And Lightning get one back. Clan are just trying to preserve a bit of energy. We'll come at them again a little bit later. Morbeck fired in. And Milton Keynes get a third one. Morbeck with the assist. Sweep out of danger. Wilson. Now for Becker. Becker inside. And Grattan with the second of the game. An excellent one time finish on the short handed. 6.57 to go. And the clan move into a 6 3 lead. Good work finding Josh Grattan in the centre. And his second of the night makes it six goals to three. Pressure, space in the middle. And a physical play by the Manchester Storm up on the blue. Hooked down the other way and it's a great finish. Great sprawling effort to keep that in at the blue. And a cross out in front and it's in. There's a big rebound off Matt Ginn just sees that one come out. Nice reverse play by... Mike Cameron to, to Byers. Byers isn't happy. They're saying that one went through the net. Byers straight up saying that went straight through the net. In. Referee's listening to him. He seems quite uh, <laughs> convinced that one went straight through the net. In. Richardson in the draw for the Storm. Here's the Storm on the puck. Earhart throws that forward. He's in! <laughs> one waiting in the, in the centre for the Storm. Chance for the storm, right on in front of oh. goal! Great goal by Mike Hammond with the go ahead goal for the Manchester Storm. Back to find Cazola. Back comes Sheffield again. McGrath, Buzio. And Owen just about gets it away, but yeah, not the second definitely time. A goal this time. There's yeah. no question about that goal. That will stand. And Sheffield take the lead. Yeah. And mix up in the Flyers defence here. Yeah, for sure the guy was standing all alone and the pass was made round and he didn't hesitate with the shot there. Matheson. Jordan Owens. Josh Pitt. Oh, oh there's a second. Beautiful goal. Absolutely beautiful Both goal. Strike. Cracking goal for Sheffield there. And Owens annoyed about that one. And Steelers are turning up and. Well, it's been a frantic game so far, but the task a whole lot harder for the Flyers now.
Down again, oh what a oh, shot. Oh yeah, good pass, good shot, good what goal. What a shot by Robert Dowd to yeah, make it 3-0 Sheffield. And Crowder takes a long, lonely skate back to the bench. It was his penalty that caused the power play and Sheffield have now left Flyers with a mountain to climb here. Flesser, Burzins, Tingston again. There goes Sorry! Oh! It's Oh, and a bit of Bargy here. And everyone's falling about in front of goal. And there's a few punches being thrown here. Robert Dowd. Yeah, Mason fires back Dowd. to full strength. Fires back to full strength. Ten seconds to go. Down oh, again. nice goal. Really nice goal. Used a lot of guys. Good goal. Well, we know how dangerous he is on the power play. Flyers literally go back to full strength. And Robert Dowd. Makes it 4-1 and a mountain to climb now for the Flyers. That'll really have sucked the life out of yeah, them. Yeah, good goal. Pinkston. Martinelli and Kizor. Jocelyn and there's a goal. There we go. Do there we go. And a second for the Flyers. Could there be a way back in yet? And that makes it 4-2 now. Very interesting. Good touch out from Cazola in front of the net. Finucci takes a shot, Whistle makes a save. Had a great game tonight, Whistle for Sheffield. Oh, and another goal for Sheffield. A short handed goal for Sheffield Steelers. Big blow to the Flyers tonight. The, the Sheffield team celebrating on the bench, as on the ice, as is the fans. A hammer bow to the Flyers on a power play, six seconds to go. Oh, and it's another goal for Sheffield Steelers. Now 6 2. Another penalty dearly for the Flyers. Sheffield now 6 2. The Sheffield fans up on their feet, celebrating their team's goal. Again, another good opportunity to shoot, and they're trying to walk it in. They're walking it in again, and this time they have done so. The Panthers have gone one down. It's the third power play that has done the trick for the five Flyers. And it's going to be Gautier, the scorer there, 78. And great play. He just got inside the house. The first time Panthers have uh, really let someone really get in the middle of the ice. Most of the shots have been from distance, but good feed there on Gautier. And one bang at it. Garnett makes a good save, and then... Chance here for the Flyers. No, and the Panthers can come away with it here. Three on two, and Robert Farmer can't control it. It falls to Guptill. Shoots and it's in. Alex Guptill gets on the puck and flicks it past Shane Owen. 6 17 in the second. One all. And it all starts with the Flyers defenseman pinching in, trying to keep it in the zone. He manages to, but they lose possession. Spring Robert Farmer the other way, and then great play by Guptill. Wins the puck back. Takes it to his backhand. We've seen how deadly he is one on one. Showing the displeasure of the decision. 140 of this. Five on three remaining. Shot there. Misjudged and it's Ford and luckily there. And the Flyers have taken a 2 1 lead. And again, it, it couldn't have been more unfortunate there. The pass back to the D. The D man whiffs on the shot and it ends up going right to the forward in front of the net. So back to back things there too many men then they give us a, a misconduct to make it a five on three and then they score quite a um Kovacs looking to get on the end of it as the Flyers man hits the deck Kovacs is assessing his options gets it in and it's saved there and it's touched in on the line and in Alex Balduk levels it up with 6.27 to go and Alex Balduk yeah he's Johnny on the spot great work by Robert Farmer he creates all of that. He gets it to the net. Owen with the first save. Well, we've seen him score a couple of these already. See if he can get another one. Guptill makes his way towards the net and it's saved by Owen. Here comes Paul Crowder for the visitors. Up against Mike Garnett. What will Crowder do? It's saved by Garnett. Pithers one for one on shootout goals this season. The Panthers 81 up against Shane Owen. Scores! <laughs> Nice move there by Pither, he loves the low blocker. 
Mike Casol has had five penalty shots this season. He's only scored one of them. 13 up against Garnett. Garnett saves it. Kovacs now for the Panthers. He's one for one on the season as well. Will it be two for two? No, it's saved by Owen. Brett Bulmer now, the number 92, has not scored a shootout goal this season. He's missed both. Mike Garnett hasn't been beaten so far tonight. What will happen here? He's still not been beaten. Three rounds, the Panthers up by one. Marek Tverden on his home debut, the number 71, the new 71 for the Panthers. Gets it through just about. Owen got his stick on it, but it went through his legs. And it's Marcus Bezerra, the man with no name on his shirt. The number 55 for the Five Flyers. What will Garnett do here? He's put it over. And that'll do it. That's it. Extra point for the Panthers. Three-point weekend for the Panthers. Uh, into the corner right in front of the slot there and the Stars should clean this up in defence oh it's come loose and it's gone across the line well would you believe that mix up in defence for the Stars with 102 on the clock and uh, who else is Charles Lingley on the score sheet goes through the legs for Pontus Hogren and it's Dundee nil, Cardiff 1 already yeah well we highlighted them before the game started and that is goal number 8 of the season the Stars though Exit the zone this time. Forward pass for Bouchard on the right hand side. Bouchard runs into Mosey on the way through. This time, good chance for the Stars here trying to sweep that one home and it's going across the line. And that is the equaliser for the Stars with 11 0 3 to go in the first period. Constant pressure from the Stars. It did not give up on that loose puck there and it somehow found its way across the line. Anderson again moves on the right hand side here for the Stars. Top of the circle, puts the brakes on, fires, oh it's gone across the line! Well he fired a somewhat speculative shot there, Johan Anderson, and it's absolutely trickled across the line to Bounds right hand side, and the Stars go from a goal down to a goal up with 4.33 left in the first period. Well check this one out. this around the boards, Lewis is there on the point and I'll fire this end down low chance here, shot comes in and that's the equaliser there Stephen Dixon on the score sheet, well worked from the Cardiff Devils moving that around the zone and it's Dixon who finds the back of the net there for the Cardiff Devils and with 1.06 to go in the first period it's Dundee 2, Cardiff 2 and Stephen Dixon with goal number 8 of the season so haven't taken advantage of either chance so far a four check here, that's a huge mistake here, and it's gone in, well that's an absolute disaster for the Stars on the power play, and the Cardiff Devils punish that error immediately, 18 seconds gone on the power play for the Stars, and it's the Cardiff Devils who score through Joey Martin with 13.56 to go in period 2, it's Dundee 2, Cardiff 3. Linvald gets away from him, Mike Sullivan though, closing on. Cross ice pass for Dryden Dow now. Dow fires that one in, deflection takes it home. It's a redirect from Lucas Lundvald. Whether he knew anything about it or not, I've got no idea. And frankly, I don't care. Because it's Dundee 3, Cardiff 3 with 11 20 to go in the second period. Yeah, he did not look like he cared what way that went in. <laughs> then, as long as the Stars pulled the goal to get the equaliser. That was working this away from him there a little bit, Bissonette will come across for the pressure and the Stars looking to sweep out the zone, they're not able to do so, chance in close and it's going across the line somehow well that to me looked like he'd made the save it's obviously sneaked underneath the goalie and the Cardiff Devils scored a power play goal with 19 seconds remaining and 3.42 to go in the second period, it's done day 3, Cardiff 4 so from the face off, out to Fournier, moves in down the boards under pressure from Lundvald, still going as well, Fournier, chance there and the scores! And it's Dixon on the score sheet for the second time this evening. Fournier with a hard work down the left hand side, comes to Stephen Dixon, smashes that one into the back of the goal. And with just 32 seconds gone in the third period, it's Dundee 3, Cardiff 5. And here we go, a chance for the empty net goal as well. And there it is, 
selfless play to uh, allow Morissette to score the ENG. This could be quite a long evening for the for the Blaze, especially if they don't keep the discipline here. If they go to full foul, yeah. I think Danny, Danny's going to be making sure that they don't do that, though. Wallace looking for options, looking to get his own. Another shot comes here, he goes right away across. Andreas Bowling is nearly the provider on the left hand side. Instant reaction from Lightning, get themselves on the scoreboard and pulling Mika Vigman one side to the other. Golovkov's back out to Maznich, he's got Armstrong waiting on the right hand side. Golovkov's back in again and I can't quite do it that time. Another goal comes in, it's another goal, it's another power play goal. That's how you take advantage of your power play, it's 2 0 Lightning. Nearly four minutes gone in this game. I want to see how many rebounds and how many attempts that came on there. It looked like Mika was making quite a few saves there. Power play goal, of course, was Lightning 2 0 up. Great pass across. Trevor Morbeck that time round. Trying to get onto the stick of uh, Tim Wallace, but here come Blaze now. Good man Venus. over there. Shot comes in, Ferrara. Well worked goal by Coventry Blaze. Ross Venus and Luke Ferrara combining. He goes high, catch side on Patrick Colleen, and Coventry get one goal back. The perfect response for the Blaze here. They had the odd man rush. Vickman gets his right pad down on the corner. Lightning power play just looks so different. Good energy here, and that's a shot from just inside the blue line. Martin Mazinic. And we were just talking literally yesterday up in Glasgow. What we don't do enough of is shoot from just inside that blue line. Martin Mazinic stands up tonight. Get a little bit of revenge then, but this time Neely. Got Balazio on for a bit of support. Balazio gets in there. Goes backhand, back door. 4-1 Milton Keys Lightning. Lovely goal there. Absolutely lovely. They're talking about whether when they should pull the goalie. I think it might be a bit redundant now. Turn that around from pretty much nothing. Great work from the back though. The Flames open the scoring against Manchester Storm just over three minutes in when Ian Water shot rebounds off the glass and back to the net where Cruz Reddick is able to knock it in. Storm pull even in the eighth minute when Evan Richardson delays and sets up a one-time point shot that is stopped but the rebound is moved back in front and Richardson follows up to jam it in. With another man in the box and the Flames playing three against five, an in-close one-timer doesn't connect, but Mike Hammond gains control before delivering a slick backdoor goal mouth feed that Dane Byers slams home. In the late stages of the period and back on the power play, Dunbar buries a Ferguson rebound to make it a two-goal difference. Just 71 seconds into the third while shorthanded Storm steal possession and Rob Lindsmeyer finds Kieran Long who cuts their deficit to a single. Just under three minutes later Jesse Craig sends Ben Davies on a break and he tucks away a high shot to restore the two goal margin. They make it a three goal spread when Foster gets the puck on net and Rick collects the leftovers before coaxing it in front where Jamie Crooks is able to put it away. Back to five on three, King and Craig play catch to set up the one-timer that is handled, but Dunbar sneaks in and taps the seventh across the line. Just five seconds into another five on three, Foster finishes the wall of feed to close out the scoring on an 8-3 win.